that are hoping for a better tomorrow. In IPOB, we continue to say, <clears throat> as our manifesto directed, we hate nobody, but you know, truth, truth, undiluted truth, sometimes sounds arrogant, sometimes sounds insulting, but that is the word of truth. Truth is something that you cannot romance. Yeah, my brother, you are there, Andre Bushel. That is my best musician, whatever. So I love his music, and I listen to his music a lot. No, so that's what I enjoy. Um, I hope. All the let me just put it this way all the reasonable people, those that their thinking faculties are still working, those that have a living conscience. Because if you come to that contraction called Nigeria, there are something that people have discovered. And those who discovered this thing earlier are the people who matters a lot in your life. These are the people who matters a lot about your future, which is very, very, very dangerous. There's something I want to tell, I want to review to those who are willing to listen. Uh, like as you, all of you understand. I am not a content creator. I am not a social media person. Those that know me right from my very youthful age know. But there's something that brought me on media. That thing that brought me on media was voice of Mazin Nandekan. When I began to listen to his voice, initially I did not pay attention. Somebody called my attention towards this, towards this man, Commander Nandekan. And the guy who, who called my attention and pleaded with me to, to join this <clears throat> divine movement was from Enugu State. Our, one of our brother from Enugu State. <clears throat> but as as future may have it, he is no more today. May his soul rest in peace. He was here with us. He had an accident. Then he died. And uh, since then, I've been paying thorough attention to us messages and uh, the eye-opener lecture he always give freely on Radio Biafra. And that is why this page, this particular page you see, cannot be monetized. That is my own principle. It cannot be monetized. I've been on this media at least for a period of time now. Steady, without signing out for one day. That is from 2016 to date. I have never signed. Do you know how they say, let, okay, let me sign off media for 10 minutes? I have never done that. <laughs> I've never done that. And, and I'm not earning any living from it. As you all of you can see, it's not monetized. And I did that for reason. I left it that manner for that for some reason.
It doesn't matter. That is the spirit of freedom. It's not that those who monetize their own also they are wrong. No, they are not wrong. They are not wrong. Everybody has his own or her own way of of decision which you cannot tamper. My own decision is that it will remain like this until Biafra comes. <laughs> Imagine my Facebook was not even no, it's not even monetized. Facebook could remove it, re reduce people from one uh, with one thousand to twelve thousand. And the one thing I want to remind Facebook is that twelve thousand is much. The gospel of truth, gospel of God, does not require multitude. What it requires is few individuals that have understanding that will distribute the message. I don't care. <laughs> Why I come on media today? Because I don't even prepare to come on media in one week time. Because there's something I'm handling. But why I, I decided to come on media is to remind those who sees us, most of us, in this struggle as as their level of fellow men. You know, there's something they call, they say, all oh, man, na man. That is just here. All oh, man, na man, na here. Go and ask. Man, past man. The way these hands, these fingers are not equal is the way the spirit of everyone's are not equal. There are some people, naturally, they have never visited any sorcerer. They have never visited any, any altar for any power acquiring. But they are, from their mother's womb, they are born with a spirit I call a divine spirit that surpasses every other spirit. There are something that nothing you will do to them that will touch them. There are nothing, that is nothing. Plan heaven and earth, do everything. Instead of them to fall inside that trap, anywhere they are, God will delay them there. If they went out with vehicle, God will, God will spoil that vehicle for that moment. Until whatever enemy that are waiting somewhere, the road will clear. The same vehicle, he will go back and then start his key in ignition. The key, the, the vehicle will respond. It's like that. These are the people. What they carry come to this world is. It has what they call imbued and inborn anti demonic resistance spirit. They have it naturally. Come, they are there. They are there. And if you see this kind of people, they are not afraid. Anywhere people are afraid to go, they will go, they will pass. It doesn't matter, it's a gift. Remember what I told some of our youth whom our puppet bandits, I call them puppet bandits, people that, people that value religion and they have no respect for God. One thing I love in my life is that since I discovered that God has no business with religion, that gives me joy. He's a God of all. God of all, God of all souls. He is not a Pentecostal. He is not a God of Muslim. He is not a God of 
Anglican, he's not a god of Catholic, he's not a god of whatever, Buddhist, he's not a god of Hindus, he's not a god of anything. It is God of all. So that is why when you say you are searching for God in a mountain, that means you are stupid. If you say you are searching for God in this house, that means you are stupid. God is in you. You are in God. You see, in IPOB, we don't give you word because we want something from you. No. There are people who give word because of the weight of envelope or the volume of offering or the volume of seed sowing. And there are like people this kind of people who gave their own, let me call it accurate prediction. Let me not call it prophecy. It is called accurate prediction. Like what I said here one certain time, we have studied the system of Nigeria. We have studied it from A to Z. Then in each and every moment or event, we will sit down and place our draft on the table. And we draft what will happen and hand over to you before, before the time. This is among work of intelligence units or the intelligent department of every nation when things are going on you will use from the past begin to gather results of the future remember what happened when the late abakari the one that died in cuba during the time of electoral tribunal within Atiku Abubaka and the Zempito B. It came at a point in time. That is why you must not be compromised in anything at all. And I reveal it to the so-called one Nigerianist. Look at what these people have done concerning 20, 2019 election. I told you that Atiku Abubaka was paid off. How many of you remember this thing? I have said it time often in my program. Atiku Abubaka was paid cash, paid off. Even he made more gain on what he spent in 2019. And who are the people who order the payment? British government ordered the payment. And the P2B was also paid. Now, when I see these people, they are living with, they are still living. You see, that is one thing with IPOB. These people I'm mentioning now, they are still alive. Not that uh, they will say, uh, they have died now. Who, who will now know the truth? They are still alive. If they doubt it, we tell them before their eye how much they were paid. I took Abaka was sit, he was invited, and he was sitting across the table. Peter B, we are there as well. How much do you spend? This man gave radical and what I call the most grievous est estimate. And uh, the British government ordered the payment. They said, okay, how much do you want us to pay you? He even tell them that he is not collecting that money. 
and he billed them the money was paid cash in billions of pounds and the, the youth who voted them were busy killing themselves on the street i came here online i said look at what these people have done that's why when they came back again 2023 will be came back i say well you people can be fooled let me tell you something let me tell you something jonathan smelling as a rock was a biggest mistake of britain jonathan no remember how i analyzed how jonathan what happened and what affected jonathan it is highly abominable for anybody from eastern region to ascend there as a president because that is not country yet you have a right in a country you don't have a right in a slave master's den you are still in a cage of a slave masters and I remember what i told you nigeria is the tools to destroy africa that is africa is suffering today the whole africa is being manipulated the headquarter is nigeria if every other african people want to survive the citizens should go and meet south african citizens should go and meet their president let them come up how they will destroy nigeria if Ghanaians want a, a future like the ones of the Canadians, like the ones of Australians, like the ones of US citizens and the ones of European citizens. Comfort and respect, development, speed development. Ghanaian citizens should go and meet their president. Let me tell you the two countries that, that are useful tools to destroy Africa, to exploit Africa, Nigeria and Ghana. Let me go straight to the point. If Ghana president is listening or Ghana officials is listening, they will understand what I'm talking about. Except these politicians decide to come out from that line. That line is not good. Destroying your own people in favor of other people's far away people. This is, is called idiocy. Why I'm saying this thing now is that Ghanaians should understand that we also we have intels concerning all these countries around us. The major tools to use one first nigeria second ghana so if african citizens decided tomorrow to survive all the african countries should come together they should come together and know how they will pull nigeria down as soon as they destroy nigeria africa will survive africa has automatically survived we keep on telling the people. I told you before the judgment, I said, look at all that that came. And this time around, US is involved. France is involved. Britain is involved. And the funny thing, the funniest thing of it, small, small country from Europe now have joined them. No way now, no way is taking oil free from Nigeria. No way. Small no way. Small no way that doesn't up to six million people. <laughs> Small no way. They are taking they are stealing oil in Nigeria. And some other countries in Europe have joined them. You know, when you catch somebody when some where somebody is stealing, maybe you have a stealing mindset as well. You have a criminal mindset. You catch somebody who is stealing, and uh, where he is stealing, let's say he catches somebody stealing money from a warehouse, and you have a criminal mindset. What will come in your mind? Is, ah, let me join him. Since this thing is too much here, let me pick my own. There's no need of uh, raising alarm. You will join the thief. While the thief is packing, you are packing because that thief will not, he will not attack you. Because what he came to do is what he came also to do. 
The next thing both of you will do now, you become friends. And the moment you become friends, the criminal network is getting enlarged. That is what is happening in Nigeria. Other part of other countries in Europe, they were sleeping before. Because they have conscience. Where they now see what is going on, that ah, this is a, this is, this is the place where these people are getting almost everything they are using to develop. Then what are we waiting for? Some of your politicians went to all these small small countries embassy in Nigeria and opened their eyes, tear their eyes, give them slot of illegal mining either good or other solid mineral resources or petroleum. They are locate slot for them. Those ones begin to make money and remit into their country. And their country begin to give, uh, begin to cherish those ambassadors there. You see, there will be, you see, Nigeria will be a disaster to humanity. To human race, Nigeria will be a disaster. Watch it out. And it's not far now. From now, the suffering all of you are seeing today in Nigeria. This is just the, this is just this genesis. There will be a time governors will not even do anything again. And you will have no power to remove any governor because they want to enslave everybody. You don't know the method they are coming with. We told you before the judgment, I still I told you that Intel has come. The Intel that came about a month and a, two months ago. It's up to two months now that I, I, I made that I reviewed that in here. Is that don't allow any owners of resources as a president in that place. People who is ruling, who is managing Nigeria now is France, US, and the Britain. They give the order. They gave the order. But this time around, P2B is still playing, is still playing Kone. He's still parading himself as uh, innocent. He's still parading himself as innocent. Why is he parading himself as innocent? Because there was a clash about P2B team, mafians in, in uh, UK, and uh, Nigerian mafians already. P2B mafians gave P2B guarantee that he qualify, he will be the one. They, are, they have spoken to their government. But in that, there are these particular groups of mafians in Britain and France and the U US that have deeply involved themselves in every illegal mining of resources in Nigeria. Of every illegal mining resources in Nigeria, these are the people sponsoring Boko Haram. These are the people creating all manner of rebels around African nations, in other way to keep Africa under state of chaos, crisis. In other way, where they will come with new arms, they will say they are coming to supply arms for government to tackle terrorism. And tackle pirates and the uh, rebels. These are the things, these are how they organize. They, that is why every heavy arm that Nigeria state have acquired so far is in the hands of Boko Haram. Have you asked yourself how military equipment um, always end up in Boko Haram? Go to Enugu Barracks. All the billions that Nigeria state have allocated to army. Go there. Just enter Enugu Barracks. Journalists should go there and tell them, open Weeporin Warehouse. Open the Weeporin Warehouse of this military base. 
what you will see there is old old ammunitions ammunition that have been acquired since 1990 something that's what you will see there the same thing if you go to abia the same thing if you go to Iguacha, the same thing if you go to every state in nigeria you ask yourself where is this sophisticated arms being acquired by nigeria government where is the where is those arms in the hands of Boko Haram. We told you that order has come. Declare him president is our favorite. We have a rich agreement with him. Militarize the whole area. For eventuality, for anybody who feel that they want to go against their will. But there are people that is that is bigger than them. There are things that is bigger than these people I'm taking this group. Like as I told you, the only God, that's why before God we appoint people for a mission. God we root them place them well rooted places that will become a problem in future do you know why i keep on telling the people do you know why ipob no matter the blackmailing from the camp of enemy against ipob do you know why ipob can never be black we can never be blacklisted internationally or being called terrorist because that is what nigeria state have been working for thinking that it will be easy no Somebody like me now, I'm a member of IPOB, isn't it? My address of a place of work is well known. Every morning, every morning, I pass police headquarters to enter my office. They know me, I know them. They know where I live. They know the time of my out and the time of my in. Likewise, every other IPOB members around the world. Some are medical doctors. Some are lawyers, wherever they are, in the country of their, of their resident. Some of them are engineers. Some of them are scientists. Some of them are in all manner of fields. Some of them are business owners that employ the citizens of those places and pay them salary. And uh, abroad is not like, uh, like Yazoo, where conversations are not monitored. Everything I said on this phone Government of this place, no. So if you are coming to report me, lying against me, they don't need, that is why that is called professional professional uh, security uh, personnel. They don't need to come to me. They know my number. Because there is nothing you will do. There is nothing you will conduct in this life without any communication. It's not done. What they will do, they will enter this line. They will correspond whatever they discover in this line with the report you brought to their table. When they have done this thing is not corresponding, they will not even reach back to you. Because they don't have that time. They will not even reach back to you. Now, they will not turn around to monitor you. You see, you that brought that, they will not be monitoring you. And before you know what happened, you enter trouble. You don't know that that is what you, the job you did, and you forget that your hands are not clean, and you are pushing somebody who his hand is clean. Now you have earned yourself somewhere. Let me tell you something in IPOB. 
for those of you who came to IPOB, let me remind, I want to, today I just want to be refreshing your memory. For those of you who came to IPOB for international connection, like people like uh, Terry, the former African rep, if you come to IPOB for a motive, God will fling you away. God knows how to make, cause a situation. God knows how to cause a situation in IPOB to remove bad people. Terry, he came into IPOB for financial help and uh, for international connection. And do you see how God fling him out of IPOB, throw him away? Which more for the deputy leader was in IPOB for monitoring purpose. He was never a freedom fighter because Uche Mofo was the only person that was being paid. IPOB was paying him. So he is never a freedom fighter. He came to work for IPOB. He came to work and the IPO be paid for the service he rendered to them. So when a bigger bid came through government, he chose to pick bigger bid as a, somebody who is working. He chose to pick a bigger payment and abandon the small payment. And that is is highly welcome. God fling him out. Those that came for IBM for popularity, when you delay in talking, went to IPOB, he used to call me. I say he am okay, I'm okay, man. You're allowed to say, you could put a lawyer all up on her with dignity. I know what you always called me to ask, but that's not what I will, I will say, it. that's not my character. Immediately, I noticed that this one came for financial connection. Little thing that happened in Nitoki, God fling him out. But that was the purpose he came for. But in IPOB, if you are called for this divine mission, you remain more powerful, more strong, and God will be revealing many things to you. This election, I don't, there are some messages I will get sometime. I will be afraid to say it. Because sometimes I used to constantly say, is this thing speaking to me, the real spirit, or is that a fake spirit? Because we have too many spirits. But that's why when I got the message, sometimes it will remain with me three days, four days. I will be deliberating on it. I would like the one of the election, before the election. I deliberated on that message. I keep on hearing them go and tell them, go and tell them ahead of time. Now that these sons of petitions call themselves men of God in Nigeria are fooling the people, go and tell the people my word. And I came to this camera and tell everybody. I said, Peter B is going to win the election 110 percent if there is any calculative that is that can be rent in that manner but since there is no he's going to win the election 100 percent and somebody said to me then if he win the election which means they will declare him winning i said nobody will declare him winning i said god want to prove something to every soul that have been trapped down in that contraction called Nigeria. That was the word I used. And that was the what I had. The, I want to liberate every soul that have been trapped down there, that have been praying and crying for my help. Time has come. I want to do it. And I said, this man is going to win the People would be, I mean, the video is still there. Except, except uh, Facebook have deleted it. Because most of my video, Facebook, they will remove it. Uh, the other time, they send me email. They said they remove my content. 
And I replied the email. I said, am I a content creator? Where do you see the content in my email, in my boss? It was one video that I did that I reviewed many things. I don't know. They, they used their hand to remove it. Another way for my Facebook to remain for me. I agree to their stand. I agree to their this thing because they say if I don't agree, I should disagree. And if I disagree, they may delete my Facebook. I say okay, I agree. Let peace reign. They remove it by themselves. They deleted the video. I told you. I say it's going to win election, but that's not what I am seeing. That is not what I am hearing. God is telling me another thing. This sons of petition is telling me, is telling their people another thing. Paul Arich is lying, telling people another thing. Adeboye is lying, telling people another thing. This one is lying, telling people another thing. I said, which kind of man of God is this? So that means that these people have never even been hearing from God from the origin. They will just come up, wake up one Sunday, they will say the Lord says. That is why everything they will predict every year. Every annual, nothing come to pass. Nothing. You because you cannot use a deceptive tongue. God does not honor it. Earlier, our people understand this thing. Very simple. Why Mazen Nam the Kano every single utterances come to pass? Because it is a pure tongue of truth. Any day you say, let me entertain these people. Entertainment is different. Anytime I come here, I want to entertain people. I will crack a joke. I will entertain people. I said, God wants to use this thing to do something. People will be coming out. That's exactly what I said. I want to use this man that the people have put their hope on. To reveal to the people where they are standing. The ground where they are standing is a dangerous ground. I want to use this man as a point of contact to prove to people that where they are standing there is no hope. And that is why the leadership of IPOB, God gave them that wisdom. God gave them that smartness. Immediately, I keep on saying this in the media. Say, and why I was saying this in the media for the leadership to listen to one of their media warrior and they act fastly. I know how many people want to wanted to deform me raw. The very day I propagate for people to go there and make their choice, I say no. Biafrans, we should start now training our people of giving them the hope of people's choice. Because if you don't start it earlier now, when Biafra come, that is the same thing they are going to do. As the IPOB, we will start now training our people's mindset how to position them to know their rights of making their own choice no choice people let me tell you something that is why i love Martin and the can if you see the orders Martin and the can have issued so far it is order that is in line like order like something like a like a open deliberation like something like sit at home somebody who called for sit at home there was no army to enforce the sit at home because the first sit at home of IPOB there was no ESL there was nobody to enforce there was nobody to beat you if that may be the case he threw this sin on the table You know, studying the mindset of our people to know the kind of people their friends will be. And uh, greatly and uh, unfortunately, their friends make the wisest choice, knowing what they want. Because sometimes you may be fighting for somebody 
who is in a pit. While you are doing every necessary move to gather rope or to bring the ladder, to bring that person out, while the person is not even ready or the person is not even anxious to leave that pit, you find out that your effort, you may throw that rope there for that person. That person, you will be calling the person, hold the rope, let me draw you. He'll be telling you, I can't see the rope inside that pit because you are not seeing the pit. The place is dark. The only thing you do, you throw rope. While the rope is standing there, he will, tell you, he will be telling you, I don't see that. Why you will be suffering? I join in the rope for to reach there. Time will now come, you want to ask yourself, now what am I joining yourself? Now you see that, you see, you know, that rope are they reach there. They say that the person, because the person don't want to come out. This is how to study the brain of the people. I keep on hitting and say, let people go and vote. They will go and vote. Later they will come back. They will come back and meet us here. Then we continue our journey. Because mentality of black man, black man want, it, want a place of easiness. They want something that is easy. That is why most of our women became victim of abusive marriage today. It's, they are not like white. Every white person, both woman and man, know what they want. You can never control their mind. They know what they want. No matter how poor, how wretched a white man is, you know what he want. If you want to enslave him or her, in other words, to give him what he needs in life to survive, he will reject that year offer for that single act of trying to enslave him or her. He will rather remain homeless on the street. He prefer to be to remain homeless on the street than you giving him a house while you will be controlling him. No. They don't that is not how they are how they are brought up. I was hitting on this and I said, allow people to go and vote. Allow people to go and vote. Thank God. They also came up with that idea. People, you are free, but we are not involved. I, I said, okay, you want to eat, go and eat. For me, I'm not eating. It's not the case. Because you cannot force me to eat. That is what exactly what IPBOB did to people. You want to vote, you are free. Go and vote. It's your choice. Don't let anybody argue, argue you. Ha! Some people came on my inbox. Lion man, they have paid you. Yes, we say they have paid you. You know, one thing with me, I don't respond. There are people, I discovered that there are people who are seeking for attention on media. I don't promote attention seekers. There is one stupid prostitute in US who carry my photo, carry my video, talking nonsense. Somebody send it to me. I said, tell her I don't move out with a classless woman. And the person took my message to her. And they stopped. If I have paid her attention that time, she would think, uh, I have gotten this man's attention. No. People that deserve my attention, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter the level you are. It doesn't matter how level of life you manage. As far as you are reasonable, you sound truthful. Truth is the only thing that draws my attention. If you're a billionaire, your billionaire status does not draw my attention. I don't send you. If you're a millionaire, you're a millionaire on your own pocket. 
It doesn't draw my attention. But let, let that a street vendor, a street vendor that has nothing, and uh, what he's saying that is meaning to it, that what he's saying is something that will help future. Myself, we use my hand to give him attention. Not somebody open mouth and be having nonsense. As I look at what happened, look at God want to deliver everybody. Another way to not say it, okay, I will use this man to prove the people that they are they have no place and they need to get their own place. Let me tell you something. There is something they call a territorial power. If you are not securing the territorial power, you will have a limitation as people. I think everybody now should go and know. We can Somebody should tell me okay, today that after this judgment, after the France and the Britain and the US officials has perfected their choice today in regards of securing their illegal exploitation of resources, tell me okay, that FCT, where they made him a minister, in no distance time, they are going to remove him. It is a taboo for jihadists to allow non-Muslim to be an FCT minister. They put him there in other way to get boost for the what for the what they wanted to do today. After today, go and watch. Maybe beginning of next year, they will sack him. They will remove him from there. Because jihadists are talking. Either it's two ways. There's plan for him. It's two ways. Either he come up openly and declare himself a Muslim and denounce Christianity. That is the only two options left for him there. And uh, I am very sure, 100% sure, that he's going to do it. But the where, where they want to punish him, they said, come and do it openly. He wanted to go and do it secretly. But they say he will go on media and declare his new faith. So now, today, this is what the debate they are waiting for. To perfect and look the mentality of people that are around them. They, have, they are now studying the people that they gather as Nigeria. They now see that nobody can save you. And you cannot save yourself. So what I'm asking today for those remaining of our sisters and our brothers that are still desire for a good future for their children. You know, like I said, what I'm doing today, I'm not doing it for myself. I have, I have drive, I have drive half tank. <laughs> tell yourself truth, God will, God will be truthful to you. Let me tell you, I like a man have driven, this is 44 years of age. How many remain? Okay. Our family, we used to clock 100. Okay. Uh, 100 minus 44. How many remain? All half tank. <laughs> it's half tank. If it is a vehicle, it's a half tank. So, what am I, if I want to join them, I join them. But I don't need to do so. I have chosen my way. This is what I want for future for those coming behind us. 
so that we have a place called their own. They will have a place where they can tell their president, we will remove you. President will be panicking. This is why we, this is why we want to restore Biafra. Where we will tell governor, where the mass is not even, even the State House of Assembly or National Assembly, where the masses will come out and tell president, we will remove you tomorrow. And the president will be running heta skater to make peace with the people, to give people exactly what they have demanded. Not where they will tell president, we will remove you tomorrow. Before you know what happened. Military officers will be going after those people who said it. No. Nigeria is gone. Nigeria is gone. I said he will win the election. He will not be given the presidency. They will not give it to him because of what? That is what God has determined. You know, remember what I said. You see, all these courts that some men are entering, sometimes it make them disrespect God. Peter B is number one disrespecter of God. You see, this Freemason he belong, he always feel that he have arrived, and that thing is that nothing blind a man than this nonsense court they are entering. If you want to enter court, go and enter Zionist now. This is court of dignitaries, men of dignity, men of respect. Men that will tell you the truth. Not, not nonsense. This they will be giving you empty hope, giving you do this and do that. Because you are corrupt. You join a polluted umbrella. Thinking you are you have arrived. And somebody will be telling you, look at where you will land. This man, you have climbed this, this up. Look at where you are going to land and you are going to break your leg. And some people will be somewhere telling you, go, go, go. Some useless people call themselves pastors. Telling you, jump, 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 says the Lord. Who says the Lord? Is Lord a Confucianist? No. One even debate, one even better with me. And I say, I release my word. I say, let me tell you something. If Peter B entered that seat as a president of Nigeria, as Nigeria voted for him, he said, But you are saying Nigeria. I say, Yes. I cannot do away with the truth. As Nigeria voted for him, I say, If Peter B entered that seat, I lion like man, we know that there is no God anywhere in this world. I will campaign it radically. Man, go and look for something else to do. Live your life the way you want. There is no God anywhere. That's what I will tell the world. But if what I hear today that I release is coming from God, then I will still tell the whole world, God exists. God speaks. But sometimes he doesn't speak from the angle that you want him to speak from. Remember what I said here three years ago. I said, the voice I hear one midnight, he said, I'm going to deal with Nigeria. I'm going to destroy Nigeria completely. How am I going to do it? I will not review anything from those who have made themselves a medium God before my people. I asked in that voice, I said, what is the meaning of this medium God? Is I'm not going to re review anything important again to these people called pastors, all these mega pastors, because they have made themselves medium God before my people. 
I said, wow. He said, from today onward, my true revelation is going to come through the people agitating for my divine place, Af uh, Biafra. And immediately I begin, after that, after that three years, after that, you know, I say that, thing, I begin to manage them. I see Sampe, whatever Sampe tell you. See, that guy, that man is a pure prophet. When I told you that prophets are not fine in pulpit, prophets are not fine in a gathering, prophet is free walking on the road. The three the real prophets, they are some of them are with microphone singing song. That is why most of you should develop to pay attention to the lyrics of music, not by the sound, not by the instrumentalists of the music. No, the instrumental is not important. The lyrics of the music. Fela is among the great prophets that God provided in Africa. He came his own in the disguise. And that is how God does it. So God does not design you, no, in disguise. Bob Mali, the same thing, in disguise. Lucky the bird, the same thing, in disguise. How many will I, 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 will I, will I mention? Mazen Nandekano, look at how he came through his own in disguise of freedom fighting. Most of us will be on this media talking, 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 talking. You don't even know when God put put word in your mouth to, to go forth. And if word of God, as soon as he went forth, he have gone forth, he will come back with the result. Nothing any man can do about it. That's why you must be very careful, you must guide your tongue. I say he will go there. If they will vote him, they will not. When they say remain court, some of them even they are still even you know black people. They are they have no respect for you know. As far as we are not demanding payment from them, they like deception. People who deceive them. If I have like come that time and say, uh, uh, "Thus say the Lord, give me this and this, give me this." They will, all of them will be running around to bring it. That's like one guy, 2018. I was on this program making broadcasting. The guy called me on my program and said, Okay, I want to talk to you later after the program. I said, okay. He dropped. After the program, I remember that somebody said they want to talk to me. I sent him a message. He called me immediately. How far? He said, that something you say and this thing come. This thing, they, they, they happen. He began to narrate his problem, narrate his problem. Immediately, I stand like this. I say, my brother, but I am not a pastor, I'm not an evangelist, I'm not an apostle, I'm not I'm not a prophet. I say, but I have been monitoring you now, whatever. I say, well, they complain, what they complain, have you gone for places for that for that reason? He say yes. You begin to mention places that it has gone. You have spent money, 250, 300, 150, this and that, is still suffering from that thing. As we were talking, I was, I said, God, what can this man do? He immediately, the message came. What is your relationship with your mother? Do you love your mother? Do you take care of your mother? He said he is quarreling with the, his mother. 
<laughs> I laugh. He saw Galaya, my wife laughing. I said, You are quarreling with the mother that carried you nine months on in her womb and give birth to you. He said, Yes. I said, What make you be quarreling with your mother? He said, It's a place where you went to pray. They say his mother is siding his senior brother more than that his mother is after this. I say, what do you call it? Senior, your senior brother. I say, I said, don't you know the relationship of first son, first son, and their mother, and I get first daughter and their father. Don't you know their relationship? Don't know. Don't you know that is is a very tight bond that they cannot. Nobody can separate them. So do you want your mother to to not side her first seed and beside you? He said, "What did I say?" I said, "Can I repeat again?" I said, "Do you want your mother to be siding you are to be siding you and abandon her first seed or it?" I said, "My brother, you the learn work. You still the learn." I said, "I don't know whether what I want to tell you will work." Now that you have collected, you have received disappointment all all round, left and right. Now, can you bring your pride down? Go and buy your mother. Thank God you still have money. You have never go bankrupt totally. I say use the one the money you have. They, well, now you are struggling. You are noticing that something is getting wrong. Rough. Close your eye. Pull money from your account. Go to market and buy your mother things. Buy her clothes. Buy her different type of food and things. Put money, better money inside the envelope. I say, I don't know the one that say you give profits of this one, 250. They do work, they do no work, they still continue. They do this, you have spent money. I say, now, gather similar amount. Gather similar amount, go to market, buy something, whatever the man, package it in the envelope and give to your mother. Go on your knee and say, Mommy, I am sorry. I have been stupid fighting, fighting you all this while. He said, Nah, eh, Ogalaya, man, I have one hand respect. I have to look at Bam, Kingdom solution because my spirit is lead spiritual. I said, One day. I'm not going to I'm not going to Okay, I'm going to get Oh, hi, let me. That's why I was talking to you. I was laughing. So he did not take me serious. I said, okay, one day, go and do what I ask you to do. If it did not work, then continue to pray for God. God will help you one day. Unfortunately, he, 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 according to you, he told me, he said, stay, 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 he split, and go and do that with that man asking to do. And he did it. That was the empty today. That was the end to today. End of the problem to today. Him and his senior brother settle. They become five assists. The problem facing Nigeria. The major people contributing to the disaster facing Nigeria is these people who call themselves spiritual leaders. They, these people are very demonic. They don't want you to survive. They don't want to hit the truth. Any day these people stood up and said, no, it is time to do the God's will. People will stand up and save themselves. Let me tell you, in this world, nobody saves you. You save yourself. That is why every developed countries always address their citizens, take destiny in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. That is why there is a electoral system of electing a president. 
when that time comes in any developed country, it means people now, the people that find themselves there, that is the moment to decide, taking their destiny into their hands. And that is why they are well taken care of. Now, tell me a country, they say this is a sovereign nation, even where the Asarok is situated, is not an original plan of that particular location, of that particular environment. It, where Asarok is situated, is not an original plan. Where National Assembly is built is not an original plan. This is the country that you are hoping one day what God cannot do does not exist. My friend, shame on you for that reckless statement. God is the God of process. Do you ever tell you? Let me tell you something. There is no miracle with that process. Anybody tell you there is a miracle with that process is a lie. Let me check something. Send the information here. Yeah? No miracle anywhere with that process. The very moment you understand this pure fact, that very day your deliverance has come. You cannot win, win Lotto, this world Lotto, that people always win $200 million, $180 million, $400 million. You can never win it if you are not participating in the Lotto play if god want to give you financial miracle and you are participating that means you are on the process of that miracle money you are on the process of that miracle money. god is the god of process like what i said one day in u.s if you go to u.s you want to collect a green card you want to legalize yourself there is process you cannot lock your room and say, I want to do 40 days prayer and fasting. And the U.S. government will call you and say, come. Come and take a document. It's not possible. If anybody stands before you and give you that testimony, slap the person, slap the person two ways. It's in the public. In U.S., there is a process to secure document. In Europe, there is a process. No matter how anointing you are, no matter how prayer warrior you are, you can never pray that document into your hand. You must follow the process. God is a God of process. You are seeking for freedom. One day, one day, God will, God will deliver us. That's how they have turned the prayer and they will be dead. One day, one day, God will deliver us in this country. God will never deliver you. God has given you hand. They have given you legs. They have given you mouth. They have given you eye to see. What you are seeing, I don't like it. You come out. You save yourself from what you are seeing that you don't like. I can't continue like I can't, I can't be living my life like an animal. In the midst of abundance, you come out. You save yourself from it. If you pray from morning to night, it can never save you. You will, you will die. They will kill you on top. Adamawa State, Kanchiama, that Boko Haram big hole and put and cut off his head. Did it? Everybody saw it on camera. 
Is he not uh, Kang Chairman? Christian Association Chairman of Adamawa Chapter. What you will ask yourself, very common sense is not common. What you will ask yourself, ah, is this man not among the men of God? How did God allow knife to enter his head and the head was he was he was killed brutally? He was killed in a painful manner. That is as a Christian. You go home, you sit down and say, ah. So God can leave his own to be perishing this man. Do you know why? When you don't understand the ways of God, you begin to think foolishly. You begin to think that God is not God. God is not anything. That's why many people who are not reasonable enough will tell you there is no God. Some of them will challenge it and say, if there is God, why must this thing be happening? Why not? Let me tell you, some of them, you know, people who does not interpret, they will say, it is will of God. It is not will of God. Your will is what God will help you to come through. God has no will for you. The will you will have for yourself. That is why if you want to live a genuine life, life of truth, God will support your will. If you want to live a criminal life now, you say tomorrow, I want to engage in criminality. God will support your will. You become criminal. But know it that every work in life has payment. So as a criminal, you know your payment. Of course, we are human beings. That's why God may give you brain. You know the consequences. You know your price to pay. As a man who wants to live a good life, who wants to beautify society, who wants a tranquility society, you also have you also know your reward as somebody who wants peace. For the peacemakers shall enjoy what? They shall enjoy the earth. So you know that you of course you are going to enjoy the earth because you have followed the way, the process. Nobody will save you. And there is no place you will hear truth if not from my book. I remember when prophets of our time, Master Nandekano say, none like us before we come. And none will be like us after we have finished our work. <laughs> <laughs> gather, gather all the men of God in Nigeria that say that they and God anoint them. Gather them. Do you hear what I say? Can you may hear him in the Bible? Gather all of them. Gather all of them. One corner. And gather IBOB leadership. One corner. I ask them to pray to heaven. If God did not shame them openly, God are beginning to shame them already. God have started shaming them already. That is why when they speak, God mock their word. Because they have no respect for God. When I told people, I said, these people, since I noticed that they don't have respect, no single regard for God. And then when people are not having regard for God, that annoys God. Don't you know that God is a jealous God? He's a jealous God. That's why he kills. He gives life. He's a jealous God. When I knew that these people have no regard for God, especially, see this at the boy. 
See that at the boy. He has no regard for God. No single regard for God. Another one, that Kumuyi. They, they have no single regard for God. The other one in Nota is still, still sometime. Should I respect God? Should I go on my own? Should I impose myself as God? That one still there, is still there in between. See this one? <laughs> they have no regard for God. I'm saying it the way it is, the way God asked me to say it openly. These are the people that is destroying Nigeria. These are the people that have made Nigeria what it is today. I don't know, Papa. No, they know the they know the mature man. Open your eyes. Now, small child, they tell open your eyes. Mature man, like I am now, you will not tell me. I'm a young man. Open your eyes. Of course, I know that my eyes must be open so that I can see something coming around me. You don't know the plan of Europeans through these people, through these politicians in Nigeria. And the worst thing that, ha that have happened to Nigeria is that their military now is covering the evil politician that they're supposed to stand up against. So now who will save you? Your pastors are covering them. Your traditional rulers are covering them. Your national assembly is covering them. <laughs> your police is covering them. Now, who will save you? That is the question you'll be asking yourself. The person you call your daddy Jigo, mommy Jigo, is with them. They are sharing the loot. Now, who, where do we go? Where do you run to? <laughs> That's what the question should be where do you run to? To where? Every day, I used to pity Father. I, I, every blessed day, I pity Father Mbaka. Every day I wake up, this thing will always come to my mind. Ah. Wherever Mbaka now is, there is one sin Mbaka committed in this world that he will live to remember all the years of his life on earth till he depart out of this earth. I've said it to somebody. They say, what is what I say for allowing himself to be paid to brought demon to him state. I say whenever Batambaka week in week out, day in day out, year in year out, that particular you know that is a sin you will commit. Eh? time to time you will remember that sin but there are sins you will commit you forget about the sin you don't even remember that you committed such a sin but there are one you will do God will keep on reminding you about that sin no matter how you come close to with God no matter how you renew your relationship with God but God will keep on reminding you it is called part of your punishment God has placed that punishment on you. Remembering it alone. And that time you will haste and do it. Something has gone out of you. That is part of punishment. You are paying for that sin. Where Mbaka is, Father Mbaka, wherever he is, anytime he remembers his involvement in the Imo state, Mbaka will be crying. Go and ask him. Anytime he remembers his involvement in the Imo state, he always shed tears. And remember before that thing happened. Because most of them don't respect us. Remember before that thing happened. I said it in my program. 
is it 2018 or 2019? I said, Mbaka is a good man. He's anointed by God. But there is some problem that I see about him that he need to pray fervently for God to take away from him. And when I said it, I said it open on my program so that he can reach to him, then he will pick that word and work on it. Because last thing I will be doing is say, give me, find his number, let me give. I don't, I don't do that. Let me give him this message, you know. On your call. He's a human being like me. I said it to my brother. I said, I, before I said it, I said, I am sorry. That's what I, I use that. I said, I'm sorry for using this way, for using this word this in this manner. I said, Mbaka, has, Mbaka is a good man, very good man. He's a man that you will run to if he's in his hand. He will lift you. He doesn't announce his own. He doesn't advert his own, no. He's a man that if you run to him, he will, he will lift you. He's a good man, he's a good man. But I said he has one problem. The problem is greed. I said the problem is greed. After that program, somebody that really in Enugu, that do business in Enugu called me. He said, hey, man, I, you said something concerning Reverend Baker. But the way you say it, I don't do like it. But that is the way you say it, not too, that is his character. <laughs> he said, those that go closer to him, they will tell you that is his character. He's very greedy. I say he should work on that thing. He should God add the same God that equipped him with his gift. We should seek for that thing and then. the day I said it about Vanguard was the day I say something concerning because it was dream. What I said on that program that 2018 was I was in a dream. God lined these people up, lined them, you see. I have said it, I said it in my program then. God lied them up. Lied them up. The thing is like a gutter. Very big drainage. You know how how the how tractor dug a hole. Drainage, dug it, sand this side, sand this side. The middle now became straight. The middle now became straight. The person in front of that line was this man, what is the name of this man? Uh, Pastor Aba Aba Abakari. Um, Bakari. Pastor Bakari. I mentioned that name one by one. Pastor Bakari was in the front line of that queue. Baka was there. Adeboye was there. David Edokoda was there. Kumuyu was there. Uh, this one from what I call from our side, um, what is the, this name? Imam I was there. Uh, I saw many that I cannot mention. That, uh, Paul Alech was there. They gather all of them straight. You know how they gather people like this, this line? That's got something like a drainage gutter. I was coming. I find myself. In their midst, I was coming. I was like a person who is doing inspection. You know how military march in the morning, uh, both we go and do inspection of of other officers. It, that is how to describe that dream. I see myself walking in their midst. If I walk, I will look this one, look this one. They will give me exactly what this one stands for. Uh -huh. This man, um, 
What is this man? I uh, I or I or I or I or something, Pastor I or something. Uh, the one that, that arrested on private jets during the time of uh, ending of almost ending of Jonathan administration. Uh, Papa I or something, I or something was there. All of them were there. Anyone I reached to his side, they will open the chapter for me. They will open that one chapter. I'll be looking. What I saw on the Ayo, Papa Ayo, I was shocked from dream. I shouted and I cried out, I wake up. Which I will not mention. I said it that time. I said, well, he said don't alter this one. Just have it for yourself. <laughs> I know that these people are in danger. These people called Nigerians, they are in danger. When I look at all these things finish, I wake up. I think about this thing for for months. I say, could this thing be true or is this thing are you a researcher for? Hey. God bless you. Power. When I see them, okay. when I reach their side, they will open chapter for me. I will look their chapter. I will, look, I will shock. I look at these people and say, hey. so these people are the problem. So these people have massively misleaded people. How I say, how can Nigeria survive? When I reached Mbaka on, everything was explained. This man is a good man. Well filled with the spirit of God. But he is greedy. And I did that then because it's our own. I did that with that. Why I did that? You know, no, you see, every man knows himself more than any other person. At least if he come to us, if he come, if you have come across that video, he will pick that word. He will run highest. Maybe if people were there, he will laugh and say, Onion Koyri. Uh -huh. Of course, man must defend himself. <laughs> he may say, oh, No, Onion Koyri. This thing that this man said is, is pure, is gospel. Then he will be working on it secretly. Then that thing, when they invited him that time, he will, he will remember that. That is how God works. God release word so that when you are about to make that mistake, you will remember the thing you say, you call. like when Mazen Nadekanu tell that bastard in Finland, don't allow Satan to enter you. Already, what God was revealing to Mazen Nadekanu in that particular moment was that he have shown him, God was speaking to him, he have already know that he was planted. But amendment can be made. Many people do not know how to, this word work. God used that word, put into his mouth, to tell him that I have seen where you your motive. God was talking to him. I see your motive. So if it is a reasonable person, immediately that man said, Don't allow Satan, because he was the person he mentioned his name last. Among the other media warriors, they was asking their friend to listen to. He was the last person that he mentioned his name. Oh yeah, that's that when I was looking at all these criminals who want to hide themselves under under disguise of uh, the pilot, because that's what they wanted. When they say, Mazi said you should listen to him. I say, 
where is Owa, the Bini lady, that Mazen Namekano said we should be listening to? Will you keep, if you keep on listening to Owa, because Mazen Namekano mentioned Owa, he mentioned Efe, he mentioned many that have fallen out now. He mentioned many of them. We, we are not constant on media. What Martin Amikan was how many times do you see me on media? Maybe I broadcast once in a month or two times in a month because he is there. Why are we going to come on media is necessity. Now he bring me on media back. Let us go and defend this structure. Before these people, before before Satan do over, 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 over duty. Anya <laughs> Maputa, let defend there. <laughs> Upon all the people he mentioned, he reached to his tongue. He said, but. He might be a France, he shared there, most of our people, he shared there, he shared there, Anya That but alone, have given you every clue you need to know. He reached to his tongue and said, but, of course. Why didn't he use of course for other people? He reached to his tongue. The spirit also lead him. He said, of course. But, of course. Listen to him. That was when he tell you that I am not too sure of him, but listen to him. That's what that word means. Of course, but listening to of course, which means I am not too sure on that probability listening to him. And not ending there, he went ahead and said, that is a prophetic utterance. Don't allow Satan to enter you. Because already you have seen the you have seen the Satan in him already. You have seen where those who brought you have seen that what package him and bring him there is those demonic satanic organization. You have seen it. And instead of that one to have mercy on his destiny and say, okay, ah, this work that I will assign, for this man to say this thing, I think this thing will not work. That was when he's supposed to tell them, I don't think I can make this thing. They will ask him why. He said, ah, don't you see what this man said? No, I, I don't think. But look at how he destroy his he destroy his lineage and destroy his destiny because of money, ego, ego, money. He have bring cause upon his generation, upon his family, upon his lineage. I believe we keep on saying it raw, raw the way it is. When we tell you people something, take it the way we say it. We don't hate you. We want a functioning place where things are working accordingly, like where human beings operate, not where animals are operating. People are in Europe. Every month they will go and collect money from government through system, through electronic system, through system. They will go, people that seek asylum, they will go, they will collect money, they will pay their rent, pay their bills, eat, send money to their parents back home and help their suffering parents back home. But their own. They said the map for this is billion. How population, how many, how many is Nigeria population? Can I calculate here? I mean, I couldn't say now, all of you are a bunch of illiterate. Let us calculate 46 billion divided. Okay, let me just make it 250, 250 million population. Make the division. Divide it. Divide it now by yourself. Which I know Nigeria is not up to 250 million. I guess 220. Now let's say, okay, the humanitarian minister 
let me lion man now help you to do the fraud nigeria let me help you nigeria is 250 million let me increase the population so that uh, the money can disappear share them the money share them for the six billion you will see how many each person of that 250 population we collect but what did they do where did you go and line up and collect rice and beans in one politician's house this is why i say you see most of us that are in abroad that you are enjoying government package every month and what they are doing to your sisters and your brothers back home and you are not saying anything concerning it's not paying you you are not worried about it because you are already in a functioning place the day you go god will go pun your punishment is is still warming up your punishment is still warming up let me tell you silent over evil is evil also itself if you speak you die if you don't speak you die then why can't you speak because one day you must die <laughs> one day you will die and your character what it contributes as a voice that bring change to society generation will live to read the history generation upon generation will live to read the history today israel israelites are very free powerful nation in that manner powerful nation in that manner today the people who brought them freedom their names are on the history of book of israel And the generation will live to remember them. And today, that is what we are doing. Biafra will come. Most of us will grow old and go. What we do, either good or bad, we stand as a history about our names and the names of our family. Is it not the high time you are so called to the lecturers come back home and apologize to, to IPOB and apologize to Mazen and the Kami? Is it not the high time they come and throw away their pride and come with the spirit of humility and say, We are sorry for we have done evil and we have done. What is wrong before our youth? It's not a hard time they come back or are they still hanging shoulder? <laughs> that reminds me, I want to repeat it again. That's how we always say, later it will come to pass. If you are a high rank of Igbo officer, resign, you are going to die. If a high rank Igbo officer, especially those in the army, resign. Resign. If he can't stay in Nigeria, travel out. If a high rank officer in Nigeria, as an Igbo man, not only Igbo man, if you are from Bayasa, from Biafra extraction, let me just use it from Biafra extraction. If you are from Bayasa, Aqua Ebo, Delta, Edo, I am not saying Edo is a Biafra before I missed to but I am telling you the intel I got. Resign. 
especially Igbos are the target, but they want to mix up with these people to my, to, to make the job very mature. Resign. <laughs> Those I did not tell you. They are going to kill you on a plane crash. They will load all of you and tell you that you are going for important meeting, important mission, important uh, course. I don't know that thing, but you have been listed. They are going to strike you. You are going to die. Don't say that. You don't say you not hear it. Oh, that, after you happen, uh, uh, man, he said it to Nebush Kukwandiao. Some of them, their, their relation will come on, uh, on the inbox. Uh, uh, you know, some of them, their relation will come on the inbox. Uh, 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 I don't go into that. I don't go into law salaba. Oh my God! All the hands, all the hands, we need to do it. We need to. I'm not ordering anything. We need to be joined also. The rest of the money that we just have to go to. I stop. I stop. Safety face. How possible? How possible? When I go there, I buy a house. Maybe that place is not danger. <laughs> no, be that. I am not laughing. I know how painful it is to you guys. Be that. But God wills must stand. That's what I'm here to remind you. Don't be offended for the heartbreak. <laughs> the owners of the country have spoken. That is the British, France, and the US. They have spoken. So what you will do now is to reinforce and get yourself a country of your own that you will have decision to make, not where people are managing. Those are senators are just among the workers in the company of that place called Nigeria. Your judiciary, they are just your workers there. Well, there is something I will review to leadership. I will not say it on media now. I will not say it on media. I will try and get my message across this week to them. I will not say it on media now. I will not say that. Although the man, the Ahod, Martin, and the Canon understand everything. That's why I ask you to remove emotion. The man there is prepared, is well prepared for this mission. He is well prepared for this mission. So don't worry yourself. What you will be doing is to work on your mentality, work on your mind. People will be free. You see, Nigeria, everybody will go on their way. It's not by gri 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 gri. We are not all this gri 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 now. That's why I love the pattern of the, this leadership of IPOB, the way they are working now. Silently, no noise making. Silently. One day, the next, the next thing you will hear is, let us come to the round table and let everybody go on their separate way in a peaceful manner.
because what will cause it is coming something is going to trigger that is on the pipeline now coming it's going to trigger everybody we you see all these criminals that build hall call it church for business they will get tired you see that business they will get tired of that business that is why most of them are the people who are bribing foreign bodies so that Nigeria will not disintegrate because of their business. We know. You see that business? They will get tired of the business. Eh? Them themselves will come out and say, we are tired of this business, this greedy business of yours. Uh, how can we do it? Let everybody go. <laughs> and that, what I'm telling you now is not far. Just very close. What they will, they will, most of them out of fear they will run away, abandon that uh, cathedral, abandon that uh, ten sitters and uh, five thousand sitters. They will abandon it. They will run. They will be the one to say, okay, 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 okay. That time they will remember what they will use that hall to do, not to, not to deceive people again. Now they will remember that that hall can build fatter. I won't matter. I won't matter. I won't matter. I won't go and write it somewhere. Nobody, everybody, no, nobody will tell them. They will be seeing it with their eye. Because God has perfected everything today. What you see today, the judges did. What I what did I wrote? I said the same God who have determined that He free everybody that is trapped down in Nigeria. We hardened the heart of the judges against this man who want to come and deceive you. Let me tell you, the P2B presidency is all about deception. There is something that people be presidency could have done to all Nigerians. It will make you relax, thinking that it will be better. You don't even know that you have entered the highest level of risk while you are believing that yes, it's better now. Because as soon as you will leave the office, you will go back to square one. They will drive you again back to square one. In Halemaya, they call it, uh, uh, there is one name they call it in English. Giving you something and you think you are comfortable now. You don't know that what they give you, there is rope tie on it. That time you feel that you are comfortable, you want to relax, you will hear, suddenly you will hear, Fip! they will draw the rope. Only for you to turn back like this. That your hope has gone far away, you will now stand up where you are, begin to pursue it, and you are pushing it backward. You will run, 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 and go backward to pick that your comfort. Before, you will not even see it to pick. From that place you run, you will begin to struggle to come back again. That what Peter B's presidency wanted to do to you. But God, look at this. No, you are wicked. I will not allow this to happen. I will make the people now to know that they don't. This thing is fake. This thing, everything about this thing is this country. Everything about it is false. So that they will prepare. Because what Peter B president we could have done is to. In fact, it could have deceived a lot of soul. The only solution for Africa is Nigeria disintegration. As soon as Nigeria disintegrates, Africa pick up in development. Development everywhere. Those things that these people are coming to steal free, they will begin to buy it. The government, the leaders of the government of the places will be willing to use that thing to develop our land
begin to use it to develop our land. If Nigeria is not disintegrated, forget about the hope of Africa. And it's fast approaching. Supreme Court, we are waiting. What did I told uh, IPOB members? I've said it, I said, order, the same order that came on this electoral judiciary uh, tribunal today, it's the same order that came for Mazen Nandekani. But the order of Mazen Nandekani is having, is, had, is having serious heat. The order is that you have no case against this man. We have secretly investigated the activities of this group. This group is the most truthful group we have ever seen in this world. That's what the report they give to them. CIA, CIA, give them the report. You have nothing against this man. This man commits no crime, none to any humanity. What we will do is one pattern. Keep on detaining him by postponing the case. But some of them are debating. The postponing the case T1. But we are looking. Let it happen. They will ha it will happen. You see this one, this coming call, it will happen. They will they will extend it. But we will, I will ask IPOB to calm down. Everybody calm down. They will postpone it. It's one of our Sanye Trilaka. This one they will postpone it. Second one they will postpone it again. Third one. The world will begin to receive what is happening. Come up with a case. You see. Martin Landekani is a time bomb in their hand. Because I'm thinking that they have missed the opportunity. The opportunity they missed that time was to obey the appeal court order and allow the man to go. You see those that participated in kidnapping of Martin Landekani, all of them will go to jail. Because something is about to happen. But I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm very close. Something's about to happen. With Intel, I have in my hand. Well, that is why the most important thing is he is getting his treatment to be strong where he is. That's the most important thing. And that is the greatest achievement. Let him be strong first to face, you know what, he, he, he prepared. So don't let anybody deceive you. That's why I say, if you, some people, you know how many people who have killed themselves since Martin and the Kano was kidnapped, out of furiousness and emotion, they lead to them, themselves to their earlier grave. I think you see the group they brought out. DSS. So DSS now is the, is the liberation army that you, Biafra, have. Congratulations. <laughs> Funanen. So Funanen now are your liberation army. Funanen people. Nde Funanen. With the Oshishi, Oshishi, Apira, Piba, Bapen, Tieya, as a rocket launcher. So also the Kubo boys now are your liberation army. Congratulations. Deep believe. Deep believe. Army officers of Biafra Extraction, if you want to leave, over to you. If you want to die, it's over to you. Because they are going to die, they are going to kill you. 
they are going to kill you. So resign. Resign. And my final word to people of Imo State. <laughs> Ndimo states, you get regular mabu. Over to you. Over to you, people of Imo State. If you like, bring Hope Zadema to continue his killing campaign against your youth. Hope Zadema must not be by any reasonable human being in Nemo state as a whole, bring out his finger and say, although hope oh, vote does not count. But I encourage all of you to go out there and make your choice for those who still believe that uh, one way or another oh, their vote will count. Go out there, you vote. But if you vote hope for them, you have voted death. Campaign of death continues in Nemo State. Remember what I said on radio, on radio program yesterday, radio Biafra program. I said, by the time you people use your hand to finish yourself in Nemo, you will tell us. Then Biafra will come and have their place. This world have gone beyond that you will force a man to do something. What you does now is put something on the table and allow the man to pick it by himself. And that is what IPOB will be doing. This is your choice. Look at it on the table. I'm not holding it. Pick it there. It's your choice. If, you, if it's not your choice, leave it. Something is about to read. Something is about to read. God have a way of saving people. Like Peter will be. I told you, if, if he could have entered there, Peter B could have been the first president to be assassinated openly. They will blow off his head. They don't want you. You are not needed. Even we kill Afrion, his own plan, they have drawn it. I told you they will remove him. After this today, judgment, highest in the next, I don't know, maybe from the beginning of the next year, they will remove him as minister of FCT. Is that is a taboo in jihadi state? Nigeria is a jihadist. is a taboo they have already beginning to complain how can a christian but they have already served him paper meet him this is the only way you will secure this job here you must pronounce openly you must denounce christianity and embrace islam but they don't know how to do it he is very, very panicking how to I wicked is very desperate. Watch out. Either he do it or he consider himself kicked out of office. There are many Igbo generals who are Muslim secretly. But I don't think now we are the jihadists now in Nigeria have arrived. They don't want people to be declaring themselves secretly. Do you know that uh, Rocha Sokrocha is a Muslim? <laughs> do you know that Rocha Sokrocha is a Muslim, secret Muslim? Rocha Sokrocha, do you know that he's a Muslim, he's a Muslim secretly? 
declared secretly and they keep secretly by him. Do you know that all Jews of Cairo is a Muslim? Do you know that all Jews of Cairo is a Muslim? <laughs> you people don't know. You have they have sold you cheaply. These people. All Jews of Cairo is a Muslim. The Church of Christ is a Muslim. The man that you elected, they remove and put two opposed of them man. Have joined, have declared Muslim. Have declared secretly Islam member. These are the people. I don't want to say that something that I, they say. Don't say this one. This is your limit. That's something I don't want to go deeper. I'm talking about what is his name? He had your. Is he your one? Out of desperation of political ambition, he, he agree. But tomorrow you will see them going entering inside Catholic Church, deceiving themselves. Most of this bishop know. Most of this bishop know. That is the worst thing. Most of them know. That look at what. Is, do you know that many, many pastors and many bishops you are see that own church, they are Muslim. Do you know they attend Muslim Brotherhood meeting? Do you know? That's why I say be very careful. If I begin to mention their name, you will run away. But that one is not necessary. Leave every man on their own doings. Akwahapa ya would doings. Is a doings. This is the word we are. That's why we say. Get yourself a country where government will care for you, secure you, the law will be strong to control everybody. Hmm? Then live what every man choose to live, choose to be. It's that's how we live here in abroad. Live whatever man choose to be. It doesn't concern you. Whatever they choose to be, it is their own problem. It's not my own problem. Why I'm saying it now is because of how people are suffering, thinking that they are with human beings. They never know that these people they are with, they are the people contributing to their parents. That's why I'm saying it. I don't even have right to say it. Because it is their own personal decision. Which is allowed. Is allowed. Is allowed. Rabia France and lovers of freedom. I think I have to stop here now because I have an important meeting to attend online. It's almost uh, almost time. So Grip, if I will stop here. If maybe if I find if I find fit tomorrow or Friday. Tomorrow is our independent day here. Seventh of September is independent day of this very country. So tomorrow we are going to celebrate our independence in this country. Tomorrow is a day of Jolly Jolly. We are going to jolly and celebrate a functioning country until we get our own. So from me, from here, I say may Chuko Kabia may be with all of you and guide and protect you. I say Ndewon for joining this broadcast. God bless you all. Remain blessed.